we traveled to the shores of Lake Superior for the halfway point in our trip to all eight institutions in the National Collegiate Hockey Conference. The University of Minnesota Duluth sits about a mile from the waters of the largest freshwater lake in North America. The Bulldogs are the NCHC school to most recently win a national championship, doing so in 2011. Head coach Scott Sandlin is in his 14th year at Minnesota Duluth after being an assistant coach at Conference Foe, North Dakota. In, in general, our program, you know, certainly coming off a couple years ago, uh, winning our first uh, ever national championship was, was a huge, huge thing. I mean, obviously, anytime you do something for the first time and of that significance, it was great. It's got uh, the town even more excited. UMD opened in 1895 and became part of the University of Minnesota system in 1947. The school's athletic teams compete mostly in Division II, with the men's and women's hockey teams playing Division I. Duluth boasts eight national championships across its 16 sports, all of which have come since 2001. The women's hockey team has won five of those titles, including three straight from 2001 to 2003. They added two more in 2008 and 2010. Those were two very good years for Bulldog Athletics, as the football team won its two national championships in 2008 and 2010 as well. And UMD wins it! UMD first sponsored varsity men's hockey in 1930. They played an independent schedule until joining the WCHA at the start of the 1965 season. The team calls Amsoil Arena at the Duluth Entertainment Convention Center home. The 6,800-seat arena opened at the start of the 2010-11 season. The team capped that season with their only national championship. After beating Union College and Yale on the opening rounds of the NCAA tournament, the Bulldogs traveled to St. Paul for the Frozen Four at the XL Energy Center. A 4-3 win over Notre Dame provided Duluth with its second-ever trip to the national title game. In that game, UMD trailed Michigan 1-0 after the first period, but scored two goals in the second. Michigan answered with a goal of its own, sending the game to overtime. Kyle Schmidt scored the game winner less than three and a half minutes into overtime to give the Bulldogs the 3-2 win and the national title. Behind. He centers right yes! Kyle Schmidt has won the championship! UMD has won the championship! Kyle Schmidt with the game winner! Yes! Duluth has made eight trips to the NCAA tournament. Four of those years resulted in trips to the Frozen Four. Their only other appearance in the national title game was in 1984. In one of the longest games played in NCAA history, Bowling Green beat the Bulldogs 5-4 in the fourth overtime. Duluth has some notable alumni who've moved on to play professionally. Most well-known is two-time Stanley Cup champion Brett Hall. He played two years for the Bulldogs, scoring 32 goals as a freshman. He added 52 goals in his sophomore year, breaking the school record for goals in a season. He was named a Hobie Baker Award finalist in the 1985-86 season. Uh, this was the foundation of uh, my success. The future was based when I came to Duluth. And I remember coming on my first recruiting trip. I knew this was the place for me, uh, not only because of the hockey program, but because of the city and the people that live in this great city uh, and go to this university. UMD has had an NCAA record five players win the Hobie Baker. Defenseman Tom Curvers and winger Bill Watson won it in back-to-back -back years for the Bulldogs in 1984 and 1985. Chris Marinucci won the award in 1994. Junior Lassard picked it up 10 years later in 2004. And Jack Connolly won it most recently in 2012. UMD is captained by senior forward Joe Basaraba and junior forward Adam Kraus. The team boasts three 10-goal scorers in freshman Alex Ayafalo and Kyle Osterberg junior Justin Crandall. Junior Caleb Herbert leads the team in points with 22 on seven goals and five assists in 26 games. In net, senior Aaron Crandall has earned a majority of the starts, playing in 21 games. The senior is a .912 save percentage to go with a 2.51 goals against average. The Bulldogs have been one of the hottest teams in the country, going unbeaten in seven straight games and 10 of their last 11. They currently sit in second place in the NCHC, but just two points separate them from sixth place. Duluth closes out the season with two home series and two on the road, including this weekend at first place, St. Cloud State.